Starting a YouTube channel is something that many people want to do and some people have succeeded at doing it and some people are yet to succeed at doing it. Hi guys, my name is Lesson World or Shimirai Mazombe and I am a YouTuber born and raised in Zimbabwe, hence the background on my thumbnail and I currently reside in England in the United Kingdom. So why did I start my YouTube channel? There are so many reasons. I started my YouTube channel because I wanted to share my passions with the world. And my passions include traveling, nature, and learning, and teaching. And I also love working with children. And I thought there is a medium now where I can share these passions with the world. And yeah, I also love books. So I thought YouTube was the thing for me to share my passions with the world. So I started thinking about it, I think um, around 2020, the time of the um, pandemic, 2020, 2021, I started thinking about getting onto YouTube, but I wasn't very confident to do it. I just thought when I come on YouTube, people will probably judge me on my looks. People will probably judge me about my makeup. People will probably judge me about my dressing style. And I just couldn't get myself behind the camera. But then I kept on consuming YouTube videos. And um, one thing that I learned over the years is that there are two, type, two types of YouTubers. There are YouTube consumers, those who just watch the content. And then there are YouTube content creators, those who actually make the content that everybody else watches. And I realized that for years I had been a big YouTube consumer, but I hadn't been a YouTube content creator. And I suddenly asked myself, why am I not creating content? And this question came because I had been watching a lot of content from African YouTubers, and these were Modemaya, Tayo Aina, Miss Trudy, African Tigress, and these are the main YouTubers who made me think these guys are doing it. These guys were born and raised in Africa just as I was. Why couldn't I be on YouTube? And what actually made it more poignant, uh, poignant, poignant, poignant for me was that um, I was African, as I say, and I'm still African. And they loved traveling. And I'm like, I love traveling too. So why am I not vlogging the places that I visit, the places that I see that interest me, and why am I not putting Zimbabwe on the map? Because I realized that those YouTubers that I watched, they were not from Zimbabwe. Wodemaya is from Ghana. Miss Trudy is from Kenya. Tayo Aina is from Nigeria. And uh, African Tigress is from Kenya. And I'm like, Zimbabwe is missing in the equation. They definitely should be Zim travelers on YouTube. And I decided to become the answer to Zim Traveler. So here I am as Lesson World. But I'm here as Lesson World because I believe that as we travel across the world, we learn different things, we see different things. We are not the same people. Hence the, the channel's name, Lesson World. And it also ties in with my passion for learning and teaching. So I felt that that was the appropriate, the right name for the channel. 
So that is why I decided to come on YouTube. And the other reason why I decided to come on YouTube is because I wanted to look back in the future and to see where I was at a certain point in my life, what I thought at a certain point in my life, the places that I visited at a certain point in my life, the people that I interacted with at a certain point in my life. I think you get the gist. I wanted to have a, a video log, a video diary for myself. And um, on top of that, I also wanted to have a video diary that my family could always go back to and then they will be like this was our mother in 2022 she visited Guilford Surrey this was our mother in 2020 she visited Namibia and so on and so forth so my YouTube is also a gift to my children and a gift to my grandchildren and generations to come so that they will get to know who I was, they will get to understand what I thought, and they will also get to see the legacy and the impact that I had on my generation. And they will also get to see my impact impacting their generation and generations to come. So yeah, uh, YouTube for me is for posterity's sake. And I'm also on YouTube because I love storytelling. And every video is a story. And I've always loved storytelling since I was a young child. So that's why I chose to be on YouTube. The other reason why I am on YouTube and I'm only getting to understand this is because I want to develop my storytelling te techniques uh, with YouTube. Since I joined YouTube on Lesson World in 2022, I have learned so many things. I have learned to film. I have learned to edit different editing techniques. For example, I have learned um, how to use transitions. I have learned how to look for the right music for different moods, for different um, environments, for different activities. I have learned to work, work to a deadline because sometimes I will have a deadline that I need to have a video, video out by 5 p.m. So I need to manage my time in a particular way so that I'm able to actually bring out that video at at 5 p.m. So YouTube has um, has taught me to manage time. Um, YouTube has taught me to be an editor, a video editor. YouTube has taught me to be a filmmaker. I remember when I started my videos, um, I didn't know that you could stabilize um, stabilize your footage i remember i would just film and then when i would then watch my videos like after uploading them i'm like oh my goodness the 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 footage is shaking it's shaky but as i continued to research uh, what i could do to stop that problem i got to learn about how to stabilize uh, my footage how to stabilize my camera so I'm also on YouTube because I am a lover of learning. YouTube has given me an opportunity to learn new skills as you can, you can hear. And um, I'm grateful for that opportunity. And I have um, also had new relationships develop because I am on YouTube. So I am on YouTube to connect with people. Um, a good example is um, my meeting up with Kelvin Birioti. I'll put a link at the top and uh, you can watch the, the first meeting or interview that I had with him when I was in Zimbabwe. Um, it happened because of YouTube. So I am on YouTube to connect with other like-minded individuals, individuals who want to tell their stories 
and individuals who want to tell their Zimbabwean stories if they are Zimbabwean and I'm also on YouTube uh, to tell my story as a Zimbabwean or an African in the day.